Hello there guys and gals, if is F1 Backwards here, back with another after party achievement guide. And in this one, we will be getting the achievement then for getting the invitation to Satan's from Fela the Demon. Now if you followed my 100% game guide, which I will put in the description below, you will know that obviously I followed Linda. You basically get two choices when you get to Satan's, there's two invites going. One invited from Linda the Human, you got to do something for her. Or another one is from Fela the Demon, who's a uh, security guard, and you've basically got to do something for him. Again, because there were more achievements tied to Linda the Human in my 100% guide, that's why I went for her the first time, and then I just went ahead and mopped this one up later on. But of course, you can do it in any order, really. It doesn't really matter. It's whatever you really want to do. So... This is the first time then, quite early on in the game, you get up to Satan's palace, demonic palace house. And uh, Milo and Lola then, they'll have a look on Bicker, the social media app, and they'll go, right, there's two tickets available. And for again, for another separate achievement, this one is... Another choice you have to make between Milo and Lola. So Lola wants to go. Lola wants to go and help Fella the Demon. Milo wants to help Linda. And again, in my 100% guide, we went with Milo for the majority of the game and got him the achievement after they fight later on. But that is. It's just for another. That's for another video. Um, anyway, so yeah, other than you don't really have to make the choice. You make the choice when we get all the way down to the taxi rank right here. Ugh, my feet are really sore. They got me pushing boulders up mountains all day now. It's good for your hamstrings, but some cardio wouldn't hurt, you know? What? Well, your feet are sore. You're not the one wearing heels. It's like New Year's Ball. Guess you got some picking to do. Right then, so what? where we need to go then is to the left, and that is Bobberline Park, or Bobberline Park. Peak? Bobbling Park? Bobbling Park, sorry. I have no idea what I'm on about, but that's the one that we need to do. And as soon as you get off the island then, you go um, straight upstairs, get off the taxi even, go straight upstairs, and Fella is right there. So, talk to him, and basically what you'll need to be doing is there's a guy who's basically cheated his way into hell. He's not actually dead, but he's popped down to hell anyway. And all you'd be doing is looking for the guy. But, of course, there's a lot of dialogue and a lot of investigating, which is why the video takes about 20 minutes. That! Well, yeah, I'm, I'm the guy you want. Great. I'm Lola. This is Milo. Uh-huh. You look a little young. Ah, uh, random question. Were you the detectives on Earth? Ooh, killed by a serial killer in a game of cat and mouse? Yes, detectives. Very, very, uh, very good detectives. Well, I've never met a detective before, but you sure talk the talk. I just need a little help with a work thing. I'll, uh, I'll explain on the way. On the way to what? Feisties. The, uh... Well, they call it a sports bar, but <laughs> it's really just a rat hole with six half-broken TVs and 20 IPAs. So a sports bar? Oh, sorry, we sort of skipped introductions. I'm Fella. I run campus security here at Nastron. The job's easy enough. Mostly catching example humans. The teachers use to show students where to shove cattle prods. But recently, it's been the opposite problem. Some assholes have been sneaking into hell, and the fuckers are still alive! What? Oh yeah, these 20-something pre-med idiots will put themselves into comas to vacation here. Does a real number on the, uh, uh, the gateways. Wait, that's actually, like, possible? You can come to hell when you're still alive? Oh yeah, definitely. This place only locks one way, you know, metaphysically speaking. Anyway, this morning, Debbie down in Dispatch told me the head count's off. One too many. I've already checked the grounds, so it's got to be one of the folks at Feisty's. So why don't you just go in and get him, or her? Because these Waldos are tricky. They know what I look like now. I need someone on the inside. A human to pick him out. 
And you two are just human enough to pass. Okay, so if we do this, you'll give us your extra invite? Yeah, you're not gonna take whoever you were talking to on the phone? Felicia? No. My roommate doesn't have dibs. <laughs> That's... Uh, I was just trying to make her feel better for accidentally eating my pants. So don't you worry about it. Once the interloper's caught, you'll get the invite fair and square. So, you detectives want to help me out or not? If it gets us into Satan's, we're your people. Oh, thank ye gods. I could use the night out. Vice-Dees is just down the street here. <laughs> Won't be a tick. So go to the left and basically you will recognize the place as the start of the game more or less. Just after the bar option and you come outside you will notice this as the very beginning of the game. And again what you need to be doing is a lot of sleuthing now. Because one of these, uh, I mean if you're going for the uh, Lola's Choices achievement after they fight later on in the game... I basically just just blame Greg. There's two people you can blame. I, I'm not sure if it makes too much of a difference because obviously I hadn't played it through to blame the other person, so I'm not entirely sure. But me blaming Greg throughout the entire thing unlocked the achievement, so you can give it a go if you want, but you know, it's always worth just following the video just in case. And for some reason, fella looks like, oof, he looks like one goddamn ugly baby. Well, you were still living, of course, but you... Yeah, looking looking good. From here, at least. I uh, left my glasses at home. But, and last but not least, we should have a password, just in case things go wrong and we have to regroup. Like, uh... Why don't we just say, let's... What about, what about, wonderful weather we're having tonight? Oh, yeah, cool. That's, uh, makes us sound like we're Georgian spies or something. Okay, anything else? Uh, no, not that I can think of. You guys seem legit, though. Thanks for helping me out. Yeah, sure. We should, like, get a drink after this, right? We should hang out. Um... To be entirely candid, it's been a slow period, socially speaking, for me. A lot of times I talk into my phone when it's not even on. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Okay, well, we, we'll just we'll, we'll circle back on that one later. That's That's fine. Well, uh, whenever you're set. Whoa, okay, so this is what this place looks like during normal hours? Yeah, this actually used to be a pretty cool dive bar called the Fowler's Snare. It got made into a feisties when the owner tried possessing a puzzle box and got stuck. They do make good cauliflower nuggets, but chain bars give me the fucking creeps. I'll meet you at the bar. We should get a drink first. Holy shit. Felicio! Oh, shit. He's back. Shit. It's you, isn't it? <laughs> what Weather the fuck, is really man? wonderful tonight, right? Don't you think? About the weather? You're already pulling the ripcord? We just got here. Yeah, well, I didn't know this disguise was so shoddy. Just, uh, you're detectives. You said so yourself. And why would you lie about something so trivial? Find the person that doesn't belong. I'll be, uh, I'll be right outside when you're done. Hey, Felatio, why are you dressed up like that, you big fucking weirdo? Uh. Welcome to Feisties. Please notice and appreciate all of our playful doodads and shit on the walls. Now what are you pups in the mood for? I guess I'll have a uh, bang bang. One bang bang coming up. Now if this is the first time through your game, of course remember to drink uh, all the four types of drinks. Just get them down you and that is for the uh, real connoisseur achievement for drinking 20 types of different drinks throughout the game. So, obviously, just be aware of that one. And, obviously, you'll need a drink anyway because some of the dialogue options, if you press the right trigger button to drink, an extra an extra option will come up. And that, of course, really can help or it can hindrance you. 
again, it, it shouldn't matter because as long as you keep sort of um, blaming Greg, as you'll see in just a little bit later on, then it should be fine. But obviously what it does is, if you're going for the rated M for reasons achievement, which is for swearing intentionally 20 times, if you take a drink, get that option out, sometimes a swear word appears and then you can do that. Charlie, 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 Charlie. <laughs> right, so Michelle, that was my fiance's name. My angel had the keen foresight to have her bachelorette party at home. She reads in some magazine article that every wedding should have a theme, and she decides that ours is going to be opposites attract. Since everyone we ever met used to say we were polar opposites of each other. I thought it was a dumb idea, but you know what they say, for better or worse. <laughs> Your wife-to-be sounds like a real winner, champ. Sorry I'll never get to run it into the end zone. Yeah, well, I mean, you either live to see your soulmate waste away painfully of pancreatic cancer, or you die first, banging strippers on your rented 85% suede party bus. So, anyways... Anyways, the bachelor party. My best man Pete and Barry brought all this fertilizer. That's the name of a new drug that makes you forget your nieces and nephews. But after we got on the bus, things got a little foggy after that. These names, Barry, Pete, Lola, are you taking, like, notes here? Notes? What are you talking about? Hello, strangers I just met. Someone here is alive, like has a pulse and gets dandruff and everything. And we are trying to help a little demon security guard with catching him. <laughs> Shit. Really? Feels a little mean trying to catch him, like you're betraying all of humankind, working with demons on the side of celestial corporal punishment. But, you know, who am I to judge? So, is anyone acting strange? Uh, I don't know. I noticed Pete's not drinking, and that guy can normally imbibe by the barrel. Okay, Pete. Thanks. <laughs> hey, Charlie, come do some shots with me, guy. To you, dodging the biggest fucking Florida ass-wide bullet of your life. Malthus, dark scene of the sore throat that lasts more than two days. I'll, I'll be right over. Well, that sucked. We didn't get, like, anything out of that. At least we could cross Charlie off the list officially. You think the guy would make his life sound more interesting if he was lying? Let's check out some other uh, perps. Potential perps. Potential perps. All those drinks coming. <laughs> I'm Lola, this is... Cut the shit. I know what you're up to. Asking questions, stirring up trouble. I saw you talking to Charlie, all right? Grilling him? The point is, you're poking your nose where it don't need to be poked. That what gets you off? Watching people squirm? Oh, you're the goddamn cheater, aren't you? You know, I can, I can smell them from their jockeys a mile away. What? A cheater? On alimony, maybe. On my current wife, of course. On my mistress, sometimes. My second mistress, only every third Wednesday. I'm sorry. That mall Easter bunny told me I shouldn't lash out at people. The truth is, I'm not even supposed to be here. And, uh, if it wasn't for Charlie, you know, I, I wouldn't be. Out with it. How'd you do it, huh? Self-asphyxiation? Those medical... Uh, pad things? I tried to drive the party bus with my erect penis. Um... Yeah. I'm lost. That's awesome. That works? You just, you, you do that, and then you end up here? You're a real winner, man. Let me tell you, that is hilarious. I was just trying to make them laugh, but my cock isn't as good a steering tool as I was led to believe. Thank God Charlie doesn't remember I'm the one that crashed the bus. Due to your maple. Due to my pork sword, yes. Okay, but wait, hold the phone. You're not the guy who snuck into hell, though? You really died in the wreck? Listen, can you work with me on this? Can we... Let's make a deal, all right? If you're looking for somebody, I think I know who it is. But you can't tell anyone about my skin flute accidentally killing my best friend and almost everyone he likes. Sound fair? You're on, Pete. Now what can you tell us? Okay, that Greg kid would be the first person I'd look into. But you didn't hear that from me. So, Greg, tell me again. 
How exactly did you become the unquestioned Grand Emperor of Earth? Oh, such a long story. My good friends Han, Indiana, and uh, Richard Kimball were like arrested by the uh, current, well, previous uh, Grand Emperor Dick Deckard. Thankfully, a law had been passed to prevent gerrymandering, and I won the election in a landslide regardless. Yeah. Naturally, I banished the fallen king to uh, Dinotopia. Wow, this, this routine takes some guts. I'm actually impressed. It's like watching someone do backflips near broken glass. And so is the, uh, Grand Sovereign of Terra Firma. Your responsibilities are what exactly? Oh, this and that. Mostly defending all of humankind from various uh, plagues. Uh huh. So why would the Emperor of Earth end up in hell? Surely the people considered you a wise and benevolent ruler. Oh, they did. Uh, definitely, they throw flowers at my feet. Oh, even on Valentine's Day when flowers are expensive, but uh, the musculoskeletal disease turned me bitter and selfish, I guess. I lost the fight with it at 33. Oh, uh, sorry. Don't be. My sister always says, you don't deserve anything in life but the ability to complain. Uh, excuse me, waitress. Could I have another, another martini? I am not a waitress. I'm also not a woman. I don't know if you can see that. Oh. Pardon me, ma'am. <laughs> you haven't been this twatted since the last work party at the sawmill. Sorry, I'm Eliza. Are uh, you two uh, part of the groom to be's stag show? I'm not sure who's part part of the party and who's um who's buying booze, you know? Uh seen anyone a little too happy here? Someone maybe looks like they're sightseeing, asking for directions. That's a pisser. I was just I was just asking for directions, wasn't I? Uh, <laughs> you wouldn't be, uh, looking for me, would you? Man, it's gotten really loud over here, Rakshasas. <laughs> Do you want to maybe go somewhere a little more... I'm good. It was nice meeting you. God damn it! Uh, well, that's my cue, losers. See you on the flip side. Yeah, it's getting... It's getting a little late. Does it get late here? I think I should probably... I should be heading out, too. Crap, Lola. Both of them. They smell like we're gonna have an electrical fire. What does that mean? Ultra fishy. I told you to stop with those fucking obscure smell jokes. I'm not kidding you. Seriously, though, Greg said he died of disease, but Pete still pointed him out to us. Double, but Eliza is acting really weird, too, and nobody seems to know who she is. God, this is all reminding me of something. Ding, 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 ding! Distant memory bell! What could be ringing? Maybe it's when Lola was hall monitor, nervous about talking to the taller boys. Or maybe it's when she told on Cynthia Lackey when Cynthia cheated on her algebra test. There's a lot of possibilities here. <laughs> it's hard to pick just one. Technical foul, double tech, automatic ejection, drop off your jersey and hit the showers, goodbye. Hey, it wasn't my idea to show up in the first place, Pancakes. You're the one that remembered something. Want to know what it was? You were in the 10th grade, washing your jeans. Your dog had just been run over by your neighbor. And you were thinking that the world was shit and people were dung better. And now you're looking around this bar for someone who's probably dung better too. I mean, it must take a certain kind of cretin to sneak into hell, right? And now you're standing there, wondering if you're any better. Actually, I was just wondering if I still had those jeans. You do still have those jeans. They're in your closet, on top of the wish chest you prayed on to shrink two inches. Fuck you, okay? This isn't funny anymore. Look, whatever. Just make sure you pick the right gal, local H. I couldn't bear to watch Father Christmas add more time to your sentence for wrongful prosecution. Don't say anything, I'm fine. I really think we should go after Greg, try to get a confession. I don't know. Eliza well, seemed weirder to me. We could split up. We're not splitting up. We're in a bar in hell. Just pick one. You want Eliza, I think Greg. Want to talk more to Greg? Greg made up that whole bullshit story. I really don't think we should let him get away. Bye, everybody. Nice to, nice to meet you. All right, well, hope your instincts are sharp. Take the reins. Hey, uh, Greg. Uh-huh, what is it? Do I have toilet paper on my shoes again? Wanna watch the, uh, the... Actually, what the hell are they playing on TV? 
Oh, it's uh, it's like American football, but uh, Hell's version, so it's just a little better for everyone involved. Look, I'm at the point of the evening where I'm either getting on the expressway to drunken idiocy land, or I'm taking the slow boat to my apartment filled with human-sized cockroaches that watch bad sitcoms in the common area all night. So if, I don't know, you want to play like a drinking game or something. Yes, let's, let's do that. Yeah? Want to do it? You versus me? Hey boy, I'm a championship level dranker. I am a, I have drunk enough drinks to... Yeah, when you talk, it's hard to put liquids down your mouth. So just meet me at the table. Get him nice and liquored up and he'll spill his guts. Hopefully not literally. You better really hope not literally. Cause if I get entrails on my favorite overalls, I'm taking it out on your ass. All right, you know how to play, right? Drink them, rack them, stack them. Highest, fastest, ladder to God wins. I got outdrank by a blacksmith who cheated his knights once. Game on, bruh. First quarter, hit the buzzer, start the clock, come on. Okay, let's do it. Got your glass? To bad decisions. To bad decisions. To bad decisions. Ready, set, get wrecked. So pretty, pretty much Greg is the guy. Uh, yeah, come on, who like cheated his way to hell doesn't matter again if you win or lose this drinking game you'll still unlock the achievement anyway Man, why are you so good at this pick up the pace Lola Oh man, I, that was that was fun. Sorry you, you you lost, but you know when you come at the king, you you best not miss or whatever. God, I miss that 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 feeling of of not giving a shit, you know, of how much I'm. I, I, you can't do it as as hard when you're when I'm alive, well, because of the medication. What medication? Musculoskeletal. Yeah, yeah, that's how Doctor Slater. That's how she said it pronounce every syllable but oh, whatever man you know, whatever we're we're all we all got a fucking hourglass over our heads you know we're all we're all running on god's time god's plan hey i'm i'm on the clock here too yeah gonna run out soon <laughs> how'd you do it how'd you beat the system the sacrifice a, a coma what i got a i got a confession to make i'm not 33 i'm 29 but I know I'm like dead at 33, like Christ and the fat guy from Blues Brothers. That's what Dr. Slater said. And and I know I'm going to hell, you know? I, I You don't go to the other fucking place by being a pain in the ass like I've been. I never call my mom back and, and I don't talk to my sisters. They don't deserve that, right? But I, I like to test the waters by ODing on my prescriptions every once in a while, just to see what the long haul here will will be like they always they always bring me back but what if you what if you mess up and get the doses wrong and, and don't come back you can't mess up dying little girl you can only mess up uh, mess up living and like your bathroom if you miss your toilet i know they're looking for me i've i've done too much shit here you guys are cool right you're you're not gonna turn me in are you i mean that wouldn't be that wouldn't be kosher not that not that I know if I'm using that word right. Sorry, Greg, but we're turning you in. You've broken some serious laws of physics and religion and quantum matter to be here, and I have no qualms about trading you for a ticket back home. Isn't, whoa, whoa, whoa. wouldn't that be breaking laws of whatever too? You know what, Lola? <laughs> whatever. Let's see what campus security is gonna do. See you guys, well, see you guys never, cause you know, whatever. So now Greg's gone outside then, he will nip off and you'll have to basically do the same thing and now talk to Fela, who is just standing outside. I mean, he's a security guard, so you think he'd be the one to um, do all this, but, you know, that's the beauty of video game logic these days. Two random people do everyone's jobs for them. For nothing. Oh, well, I suppose they're trying to get out of hell, I suppose, isn't it? But, uh... Anyway, so at this point then, click the yeah, it's Greg option. And again, I'm not entirely sure if you choose any other option that I will still unlock anyway, as I hadn't played through it again to 
notice so if anyone can do that i mean if anyone does that just let me know in the comments below and of course i will update but blaming greg was the way i went about it anyways we found the waldo <laughs> yeah it's been a night <laughs> a meat pile named greg he's at feisty's right now <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you know, no, it, it took longer than I thought, it really did. <laughs> Thanks. Say hi to a Dramalek for me. Okay, bye. Shit, I forgot he left her for his podiatrist. Uh, what'll happen to, uh... Oh, nothing much. They'll probably take him and give him a stern talking to, you know, right before condemning them to eternity in the Ninth Circle. Eh, they'll be hacked into infinite pieces by multi-limbed feathered serpents who do not fuck around, let me tell you. I've seen him in action. Woo! Oh, sounds... yeah. Thanks a lot, guys. This is such... such a big help. Uh, I know you did it just for the invite, but when you get to the party, we should get that drink you promised me you would have with me. Sound good? Yeah, most definitely. You helped us out here, like, more than you can imagine. What the fuck? Are you, are you serious? How could you, motherfuckers? Just, uh, just pretend you can't hear him. I can hear you pretending you don't hear me, you giant asshole! I'm gonna get flayed here! All right, get out of here, you knuckleheads. <laughs> just, uh, drop my name at the entrance and I'll let you in. Thanks again, guys! And there you have it then, so hopefully guys and gals this has helped you out and that you have enjoyed it. If so, please of course don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for videos like this, 100% game guides and a lot lot more. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you in the next one.